Today, we're gonna to take a look at the all new Wix Studio and show you how you can leverage some of its AI features to make your website mobile friendly. We'll even show you how to generate AI images all within the Wix Studio. It takes only a matter of seconds to make a desktop version of a website mobile friendly using the responsive AI feature. This is super cool. It only takes a few minutes to learn how to use. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's dive in and show you how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We've landed in the all new Wix Studio and we've created a free account and logged in. Once you've logged in, you're brought to this dashboard, which has some tutorials on how to get started, as well as templates and other things like that. But what we're, what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click this button here that says create a new site. Basically, we're presented with two options. We can start from a blank canvas or start one from one of their pre-built templates. Let's go ahead and choose blank canvas. And when you choose blank canvas, you're essentially getting just that. Your website will only have three elements in one page. It'll have a header or a nav bar. It'll have a body section, which is where the content of your page will go. And it will have a footer. And we can see that reflected here. We have our header, we have our body section, and we have our footer. If we navigate over to the toolbar here on the left, we can take a look at our layers and see that this is reflected here as well. We have our header, our body section, and our footer. If we click into the body section, we now have this option to add some elements to our page. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some elements to our page, make them look pretty good on desktop, and then we're gonna use the AI to make it all responsive and mobile friendly. So let's go ahead and click add elements. And you can see here, there's a lot of elements that you can add to your page from images, to buttons, to shapes, to menus, to forms, to bookings and events. And there's a ton that you could do, but we'll keep it simple. We'll just add some basic elements. Let's start with an image here. Because we haven't specified the image, we just get this default image. You could of course use your own image just by hitting change image here. Or another feature that we wanna show you is how to create an image with AI. So let's go ahead and do that. This is another AI feature that is new in Wix Studio. So let's say a truck in a field. Move myself here and let's click create images. And this is actually gonna use AI to create this image that we described in our prompt. And we should hopefully get a few different options to choose from back once the AI generates the image. Okay, great. So let's say we like this one. We'll go ahead and hit choose. We can even like enhance, adjust, filter, add overlays, backgrounds to the images if we want. But we'll go ahead and just say this one's good. We'll go ahead and click save. And what will happen here is it's gonna load this image right into our website that we just generated with AI. And once we have the AI image in our page, we're gonna add a few more elements here and then we'll make it responsive on mobile. Let's go back here to this plus button, which is how you add elements to a page. And let's go to contacts and forms because typically forms are pretty tough to make mobile friendly and it usually takes some tweaking manually. So let's go ahead and see if AI can help us with this. We'll go ahead and drag this contact form into our page. Okay, it's adding a form. Maybe what we'll do here is we'll move our footer down a little bit just to create a little bit more space here on our desktop view. Basically wanna make this look good enough for desktop. Let's expand our image here. Okay, this is looking okay. Let's add something else here. Let's just go to text and let's add a heading. We'll just drop this here below the image. We can edit the text. We'll say welcome. Okay, so we have this very basic page that has an image, it has a contact us form, and it has a welcome header on the page. Great. So if we go to the top here, we can see our different breakpoints. This is our desktop or primary view. We have the tablet, which still looks okay. We can see all of our elements just fine in tablet. And we go to mobile, this is where things start to really break down. Our contact form is on top of our image. Our welcome text is on top of our contact form in our image and everything's just cluttered together. It doesn't really look good on mobile. The old way would require us to move all these elements around and make them look good manually just by dragging and dropping with our mouse. Let's go back here to the desktop or primary view and show you how we can just make this look really good with AI. Now there's only a few elements here, so you could easily move these around by yourself, but imagine you had a ton of elements on your page, making them all mobile friendly would really be a lot of work. So what we need to do is go over to our layers panel 
And once we're in the section that we want to make mobile responsiveness or AI mobile, what we do is we find this floating nav bar here within our section. There's a lot of things you can do here, like add animations, back on effects, things like that. But we want to click this button, which says responsive AI. This pop-up module is essentially just saying that it's going to go ahead and make this section responsive on all devices with AI. Great. Let's go ahead and do it. Click generate now. And this is actually going to run through all the elements on our page and start to optimize them for each screen size all the way from desktop down to mobile and make sure that they all look good on all screen sizes. Super cool. Let's give it a second. It should just be done here. Okay, so now it actually loads into a preview here. We can check it out on desktop. We can check it out on mobile. And look at that. Everything has been rearranged so that it's mobile friendly. We got the image, then we have the welcome, and then we have the contact us form. Super, super cool. Down here on the lower right, we can either apply the design or discard the changes. One thing to note is once you apply the design, you can always go into the editor and edit things yourself just by clicking, dragging, and dropping like you could before without the AI feature. So you can always make tweaks to whatever the AI changes. Now, another thing to note is if you make a change with the AI responsive button in the desktop view, it'll cascade it down all the way to mobile. But if you make a change with the AI in mobile view, it will not cascade up to desktop, if that makes sense. So just know that if you're making the AI changes in your desktop view, it's going to cascade down to all your other views. But if you just want to make the change in mobile, it will not make those changes up to your desktop. So that's it. Super simple. Wanted to walk you through today how to make your website mobile responsive with Wix Studio's all new AI feature. And we even added a bonus in on how to create AI images in Wix Studio. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for tuning in.